What's up y'all? Today I think instead of showing you a course vlog or some driving range practice, one thing that I've been meaning to do for quite a while now is to talk to you about the rising cost of golf and some ways that you can avoid all these expensive things that you, you seem to have to spend all of your money on. Every single day start things off on our little money saving venture the first thing I'd like to talk about is golf balls now I go to golfballnut.com I'll put a link in the description below I have been ordering golf balls from them for probably the last six to eight months and I've never had a bad experience it's always been a good experience look I'm telling you do not go and buy golf balls in a box that are new. Don't do it. There's no reason to do it. These golf balls have been salvaged from the course. It's probably where somebody's gone and spent $50 or $40 or whatever golf balls they're buying. Bought a brand new box of balls. They're probably a high handicapper. They hit them one time out into the woods or one time into the creek or one time out into the pond and these have been salvaged. Now, if they've been sitting in the water for a really long time, there is a possibility that they could be waterlogged, but odds are you're probably not gonna be ordering that particular type of golf ball anyway because it would be so old that you wouldn't want it. These are tailor-made tour preferred golf balls. These are the ones that I just ordered in my last shipment. Now, I'm not sold on them, but I try different things all the time. I've gotten some Titleists off of there. I've gotten some tailor-mades off of there. I've bought Callaways off of there, and I don't buy the full-on AAA grade mint golf balls because I want to save some money. And honestly, I order these in near mint or even uh, AA condition and they're always in really good shape. So you can get an idea of what to expect. See how it's a little smudged and there's some little faint Sharpie markers from where somebody had it marked their own personal way. That's about the worst you can expect, and these are double A grade. These are what's considered uh, probably a step below mint or near mint. Um, I think I paid about $10 a dozen for these, but you can see the cover on it is still in terrific shape. No scuffs, no scratches. It's just faint little blemishes here and there. So, I mean, it's just really hard to beat. Again, that's golfballnut.com. I've been ordering there for months. Go check them out. So they come in a nice FedEx package like this, bubble wrap. I ordered three dozen this past time. This is how they come out of that bag in a blue mesh sort of netting uh, in a dozen. And again, I think I paid about 10 bucks a dozen for these. And these balls are just in terrific shape. Uh, again, you can see where some of the, the logos might have faded. And I've never heard a tour professional or any good player for that matter blame a terrible shot on a logo smudge. All right, so now on to expense number two, golf clothing. Oh man, golf clothing. Don't get me started on the clothing. If you go to any of the big box stores, I won't name names, but you know where they are. You know where you go to get golf clothes. If you go to any of those stores, man, a shirt's gonna run you anywhere from 50 to $90. A pair of pants is probably gonna run you anywhere from 75 to $110, I've even seen them. Sometimes you can find a buy one, get one, or, or something like that, and then that makes them half price, but still, I mean, $40 for a shirt, $50 and $60 for a pair of pants, are you kidding me? I can't spend that kind of money on golf. I don't want to spend money like that on golf. Even if I had all this extra cash just laying around, it's not something that I want to do, is pay $50 for a shirt that I'm gonna wear once a week. Not even that, because I'm not gonna wear the same shirt every weekend. You gotta have multiple shirts, right? You don't wanna go out there in the same shirt and same pants every week. So now you're gonna be wearing it once a month, maybe once every month and a half. You can look on Amazon.com. You have to be careful on Amazon. You can find tons, tons of shirts and clothes and uh, you know, pants 
pants, shorts, even golf shoes, things like that on there. But you have to be kind of careful because if it's a no-name brand and it's coming from overseas, a lot of times the sizes are sized differently. So be sure to read the size charts, the comparisons, check out the reviews, make sure that the size that you would normally buy here in the States is gonna be the same size that you would purchase overseas. Now, that being said, on to name brands, the best golf shirt, golf pants, golf everything, clothing company that I have found so far, and I'm not being paid to say it, is the Ben Hogan Company. Ben Hogan makes great quality golf shirts, great quality golf pants, and shorts. And I'm telling you, it's cheap. You can even go on, they're sold through Walmart a lot of times, believe it or not. You can go to their actual website, the Ben Hogan Clothing Company, and you can order on their website. You can find it on Amazon as well, but you can go to the Walmart site or even the Walmart store and you can find shirts, shorts, and pants. The cost and the quality, it just, it's, it's incredible. The same quality shirts that you would find from some of the bigger manufacturers and some of the big box stores, same quality if not better and I'm telling you the shirts on average are somewhere between $12 and $16 a piece. The pants I think were about $22 on average, some of those you can find for under 20 bucks as well. Tons of shorts for under that. It's it's really unbeatable as far as clothing goes. Got to go check them out. Ben Hogan, I'm sure you've seen some of their stuff. I'm sure you've heard of that company. You've definitely heard that name before. All right, now we're on to golf shoes. Golf shoes, man. Oh my God, they're crazy prices. Again, you're looking at anywhere from $100 to $300 for a pair of golf shoes. That is just crazy. I don't like paying more than 40 bucks for any pair of shoes. Now I get it, golf shoes are a specialty shoe. They've got the turf type, they've got the spikeless, they've got the full-on plastic spike types, they've got leather, they've got mesh, they've got all this different stuff. So there's tons to choose from. But a good all-weather shoe is going to have a leather or synthetic leather outsole. It's going to have that sort of waterproofing quality and that's good for all weather. It doesn't matter if it's summer or winter, if it's cold or if it's hot, there's always going to be dew on the grass in the morning and then if you're playing into the evening, sometimes you can even get dew and moisture on the grass in the evening. So these nice mesh shoes are great for when the weather's dry and perfect and everything's dry outside, the grass is all dry, but if you've gone around and played any kind of golf where you're in the dew or it's rained maybe that morning and now the sun's out. The moisture in the grass is, is almost always there unless you're just in the dog days of summer. So if you've ever worn mesh shoes, breathable golf shoes out on the golf course, you know you come up with wet socks, wet toes, your shoes are getting wet. So I try to think about something as far as the perfect golf shoe that would be more of a leather or a synthetic leather, something that's gonna be water resistant or waterproof. Golf shoes, unfortunately, it's really hard to find any golf shoes. Unless they're on clearance, it's hard to find knockoff, no-name golf shoes. Like getting rid of the name brands because the name brands, if it's Foot Joy, if it's Echo, it, it doesn't matter what it is, it's going to be expensive, man. Unless you find on some kind of closeout deal or it's like a four-year-old model or you buy some used shoes, which I highly, highly would recommend you stay away from used tennis shoes, used golf shoes, any of that stuff. However, on Amazon, there are a few options. So if you're looking for golf shoes, you can go to Amazon and find almost every shoe under the sun there. There are one or two no-name sort of knockoff shoes that I found on there that are golf shoes specifically that are actually decent prices, but they're few and far between. It's really hard to find. Most of these are going to be name brands. It's going to be your Foot Joy, your Adidas, your Callaway, stuff like that. And they're all going to be expensive unless you just happen to find some kind of clearance item. I don't know, do I really want to pay that much for a shoe that I'm going to wear once a week? Or a shoe that, again, depending on whether you're wearing shorts or pants, you might need multiple pairs of golf shoes. Do you really want to pay that much for a pair of shoes you're going to wear once a month? Come on, man, that's just crazy. I'll tell you this, though. You can wear tennis shoes. You can find some cross trainers. They usually have a little bit of grip on the bottom. They've got just as much grip as some of these turf shoes out there. And then you can find no-name brands on Amazon for that all day long. 
knockoffs. You could find those for $18 and $20 a pair. $30 a pair is not unheard of at all. You don't have to wear golf specific shoes. If you are swinging so hard that you have to have spikes to hold you into the ground, you should reconsider what you're doing with your golf swing. All right, here's the last tip. I promise this is it. All right, so then you've got your golf fees, right? There's a whole lot of golf courses out there that came up in the big golf boom where they charge you, I don't know, 50, 60, $65 a round. That's just crazy. If you're paying 50 bucks a round and you play once a week, four times a month, that's $200 a month. Now you've got all your golf clothes, you got your golf balls, you got your golf clubs, you got your golf shoes, and now you got your greens fees. All of a sudden you're in for 400 bucks a month maybe on average. That's just insane. So there are lots of different ways to cut back on the costs of greens fees and play it on the course. One of those ways is Golf Now. Now I know a lot of you have heard of Golf Now. Obviously it's pretty big, it's huge. It's through NBC and the Golf Channel. Oh, by the way, here's the pond I've been working on. This has been going on for about a month. I've been working on this whenever I have time. Uh, it's a koi pond, 1,600 gallons. This has been taking up a lot of my time. This is one of the reasons that I haven't been able to practice and play nearly as often as I was like. Uh, but it's finished. Let's see if we can find some fish. Yeah, there's a few down in there. We've got eight total fish in here now. Uh, they're all kind of small. They're chilling today. Where was I? Oh yeah, back to cheaper greens fees. So there's Golf Now, there's Golf 18 Network, there's lots of them on on uh, on the internet. Just go check that out, and book your tee times through there. With Golf Now, also, once you get I believe 100 points, then you get like a $10 off coupon to use. So you know if you're just paying greens fees at the course, you're not going to get any type of rewards. But at least through Golf Now, you're going to get some kind of rewards, almost like a punch card as you fill it up and you use it and you spend money through that network. You're going to be able to get some benefits from it. So go check that out too. Golf Now. That's really the only one I use. Anyway, I hope you're enjoying all these videos. Thanks for everybody who's watching. Thanks for everybody who's subscribing. Thanks for everybody giving me thumbs up. Thanks for all the people who are giving me comments. Thanks for all the people who are sharing and all the people that are giving me thumbs down. I appreciate that too because that's more activity on the channel. See you next time.